Yo, I see y'all. Uh, sexy Puerto Rican Nikki, FSU, stuns. I see y'all, uh, Rocco LaBerry, Patrick O'Neill, ah, uh, Patchy Pat, Velda Star, 29. We see you. Let's get my headphones together. <laughs> Savage AF, y'all. You know what it is. Breezy JJ's in the house. I see you too. Um, boom, boom, boom. Almost got bam. Now we now just get the headphone going. So you can hear me right. Um, boom. Boom. That's that. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Savage AF. You know what it is. It's your boy, Black Pedro. We're waiting for Shang to get into the building, which I'm sure he will at any minute. I feel like this is, like, way too tall. Let me do some of that. Some down shot on it. There you go. Um, so, oh, I see it. <laughs> Black nigga Pedro. I see a, a Shang. He's in the building. He's coming in. That's going to happen. Wait, let me get him in here first. Where you at, Shang Dang? Here we come. Yep. Pretty on the left and the right, we see you. I'm going to get to a pin in before we start to win in. Just waiting to, waiting to connect here. There he is. For the, uh, sorry for the way to uh, start it off. Like, you're like, <laughs> did he call me black nigga Pedro? <laughs> you wouldn't be the first, it's you wouldn't be the last. <laughs> you sound like you uh, like a rum runner. Like, we like, <laughs> hey, man, we just got to get black nigga Pedro to get the, the liquor <laughs> off the north. <laughs> That's what it is. Where he at? Eve's, black nigga Pedro. Eve's underscore Apple is in the building. She is the queen to be here on Savage AF. Uh, what's up, Eves underscore Apple 7916. We love you. Hope all is well. Uh, Savage AF podcast on YouTube. So Savage AF podcast. We need you to follow that, subscribe to that on YouTube. Just look up Savage AF podcast because, you know, we are here on uh, IG Live Monday through Friday, Mondays and Friday, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Tuesday through Thursday, uh, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Shang, hit them where, like, if they can't follow us live, hit them, hit them where they can get us afterwards. Okay, you, all right, you already know what it is. You already know what it is. Like, y'all know we need to get the podcast popping just as much. Savage AF, all right? It's on iTunes, Stitcher, Slacker, Google Play, iHeartRadio, Spotify, and SoundCloud. I know I said the fa shit fast, so I'm going to say it slow. iTunes. Yes. Spotify, SoundCloud. I Heart Radio. Um, <laughs> wait, I didn't do it like Pedro does. He has to do the. You have to do the Spotify. Spotify. Yes, he does the Spotify. So you can check us out there. We're powered by, um, I guess Dash, I guess, but we're brought to you by the Laugh Factory, the world famous Laugh Factory. So you already know what it is. Make sure that you subscribe to all of the different, and it's all free. Okay, so don't give me that shit about you don't got the money. It's free. All right, so subscribe to the the podcast on all of the platforms for podcasts and subscribe to the YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube. You know why? Because we just started the YouTube channel and we've already got a pretty good amount of subscribers. Not not great, you know, but we're we got a we're building. Uh, we're building, we're building, you know. So I we need 100 uh by the end of the, this uh show right here let's go pass it on y'all let's episode. go we might we might go longer tonight but i didn't know if you, i thought I, for some reason in my mind i thought you had to work i don't know why no nah, man we uh we free and foot loose and fancy free tonight um it is wednesday you know what I'm saying hump day so that's what it is and uh on tuesday through thursday we are on 6 p.m that's what it is y'all um today uh today's run up it, it's shorter than usually but you know it don't take much for us to run up on your ass you know what i'm saying like nigga, Right, what you don't like, yeah, yeah. Or you get the old man shuffle, like nigga, what, nigga, 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 what? Yeah, what? that's we we ducking all your little blows on the way. Yeah, um, so uh, yeah, also so much shit is going on. We yesterday our first two topics were all the debate. It was like uh, that's all we talked about basically, and it's still popping. That's shit all they show about today. Central. Yeah, um, yeah, all, all the news channels, that and uh, Breonna Taylor stuff, but they m more the debate than the Breonna Taylor. And COVID do do dominated the news. COVID absolutely oh, dominated the news. Yeah, because uh, there's there's some uh, situations where it's spiking. No bullshit. All across the It's not spiking. Uh, all of the, like, small, like, places that are real rural 
And believe it or not, red states are getting killed the hardest. I wonder why. But it ain't going to dang. Maybe because uh, they're like, I'm going to live my freedom and I'm going to lick every wall and ceiling I can, God damn it! If you can lick a ceiling, you're a bad motherfucker. Be an American. All right, yeah, y'all. that's what they're doing. So. so it is September 30th, 2020, the last day of September. <laughs> God damn, where did 2020 go and why can't it go faster? Uh, but uh, today we're going to end the show peeling some onions. Because as you look at uh, the, the COVID recession uh, even more and more, you're seeing that certain demographics are getting hit harder. We're going to talk about that. Uh, but before we talk about that, we're going to talk about uh, how last night was a game changer. So much so that the debate commission, that is the pre- presidential debate commission, Detroit gentlemen, welcome. What's up, sir? Good to see you, big Aunt. Um, You know, uh, the debate commission wants to uh, change and add some, uh, change some rules and add some order to the to the debate process uh, going the rest of this year. So, uh, I wonder why they would want to do that. We'll talk about that, though. Um, but we want to start off today's show, um, and we 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 got into it last night. But I think we need to look at it a little deeper. It, because uh, today, you know, the the Proud Boys, they they came up. They took they took some some spotlight yesterday at the debate, um, or the debacle, whatever you want to call that. I would call it the debacle. Yeah, and, and they uh, they actually had, saw a surge in like interest and membership and inquiries um, as a result of their their mentioning, um, you know, which is both expected, deserving. Not, su- I mean. Um, not deserving, but expected and not surprising. Um, uh, but, you know, disappointing, definitely, uh, and, and depressing as well. Um, but, you know, so it's like, if you don't know who these Proud Boys are, um, I was looking into it a little bit. Um, a- a- apparently, it was started by this dude named Gavin McInnes, who used to be part of and one of the founders of, or still would be a founder of Vice Media. You know, like Vice Magazine and Vice that was on HBO and all of that shit, right? Like, typically, I'd say at least center to, to, to left uh, media group. Um, right. But, uh, you know, this dude left in 2008. Um, and, you know, the associations with the company are, are severed and... You know, he's he's gone. He, re- he left. He left disgruntled. He was disgruntled as hell. He's gone and, off into, but then, into into white boy cracker land. You know what I mean? And, yeah, he he ran into. <laughs> did you say white boy cracker land? We're going know, to hell. It's a special place for certain certain guys. Um, but uh, so you know that that was a bit of a surprise to me. I didn't realize that you know he had gone from vice to that, um, and uh, you know he is somebody that a lot of supremacist groups look at. Um, as a as a sort of model, but um, it, it's a leader, a, a leader, yeah. and 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 white nationalist and white pride. That's why they call it Proud Boys. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, exactly. That that's what that reference is. Um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, man. You know, this group, the Proud Boys. They're a militia group. They're a hate group. The American uh, Defense League is a, or an Anti Defamation League. I'm sorry. Um, yes, they uh, they have labeled them a hate group. Uh, you know, they're they're known for being a a hate group for sure, for sure. Um, so you know what I mean. Uh, you froze up a little bit, Shane. We'll we'll get them back though. You know how we do right here, Savage AF on IG Live. Um, but you know, we we heard the comment, the, the standby. You know, they 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 they, they jumped on that right immediately. Their, their Twitter account is like, yes, sir. And, you know, people are around the nation are like, awaiting your orders, Captain. Aye, aye, Capitan. You know what I mean? Like, they, they totally took that as we're on the ready. Because that, that's what standby means. It means get ready, but don't do shit yet. Um, yeah. and, and they totally don't do shit yet. Yes. Yeah. Just hold, hold, hold on, but be ready. Um, so we know, we know that's what that means. Um, and, and now there's been a, a spark in interest. So, you know, it's just one of those things we, we all need to be aware of, man, and, and really be, you know, because they, 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 
they kick, they kick. They, okay, so they actually call themselves Western Chauvinists, a fraternity of Western sh- Chauvinists. So fraternity, they're they're uh, they're, they're racist cunts. That's what they are. Yeah. Fraternity is dicks, right? Like dudes, dudes, <clears throat> just sausage fest, right? A lot of dudes. Fraternity guys, right? That, that's guys. So ladies, you out. You out there? Fraternity, okay? Western, okay. That means white. Right. right. European. You're, that's European. The, the West was Europe back in the day. Um, Europe. And and then chauvinist means little dicks. Okay. So they are right. A bunch of dicks. White guys with little dicks. A bunch of little dick white guys is what that is. Because chauvinists are little dicks. That Western actually have no. They have some. They have. They actually have some people of color who are. Uh, black uh, crackers, and they actually um, have caused the majority of the violence. And this is not me uh, speculation or me hedging it. This is the motherfucking truth. Most of the violence that has happened and pretended to a lot of the protests has been sparked by them. Not all of it, but most of it. The people who claim the group Antifa, not Ant- which is not really a group. It's just people who use that as a, 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 a umbrella to do some shit back to uh, the Proud Boys and some of these other white supremacist groups. So don't get it twisted. They Okay, I froze for a second. It froze for a second. Don't get it twisted. That's what it is. I don't know why people try to act like it's something else. That's what the fuck it is. Donnie, we, Donnie, we see you. Bermuda in the house. Yeah, uh, Little White Pricks is, is basically, if they were uh, a boy band, <laughs> that would be their name. Right. The new hit from Little White Pricks is, uh, you know, I can't see my name. <laughs> That sounds like a punk band. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what they are. Well, they are band. Please welcome to this stage, Little White Pricks. Right, <laughs> one, two, three, four. Hate America. So they, what they do Hate is uh, they, they operate under the auspice of, you know, they, they get all this gear and body armor and long guns and all that, and they're out there to protect themselves. Um, which, you know, my first thing is, like, if you need all that to leave the house, stay your ass at home. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, don't, and, don't and that's what somebody, they, they interviewed them. They said, if you're not here for violence, then why are you prepped for violence? Uh, well, we're going to, we're you know, I'm like, no. So um, that's your not, if that's not your intention, why are you coming here at all? No one asked you to come here. Yeah, and, the, and the guy said, well, he's like, you know how people, when they know they're wrong, they go, well, um, well, fuck you, bitch. And then he ran off like Kermit the Frog, like. Yeah, no, I saw I, I saw one get stuck too, where um, you know, he was like, you know, we're not out here for violence, and you know, people, and you know, people should consider themselves lucky, and it's like, well, and she was like, but if you're not out here for violence, then why would they be lucky? It's it just be part of the plan, right? And he was like, I saw that. Uh, well, I was talking about me. Uh, but the, some of the other people <laughs> might be uh, different. If yeah, you, little skinny, little you, skinny, skinny, little skinny, skinny European American. Yeah, he said, "Fuck you, bitch," and then he ran away too. Uh, so yeah, yeah, he's like, yeah. See, you got to look so, at it this again, way. So that, um, so that means unintelligent too. Just those, those are well, yeah, no. They, like I think not, that the collectively, the they stars. collectively they basically are disgruntled about their own miss fucking. That, like the fact that they are not worthy and not really, you know, they're fuck ups. So the <laughs> They want to look down on other people. That's what racists do. They're like, I'm not the best I could be, so let me look down on other people so I feel good about myself. So they did it back in the day, back to, they do it to black people to this day. They did it to the Irish. They did it to any immigrant that came in. And now it's part of fucking America's fabric. So fuck them. And yeah, America, America, fuck yeah. They're a bunch of, yeah, they're, they're a bunch of men that are, are sad and lonely, never got no pussy in high school, never got no pussy when when college, if they even went to college or wherever they work. They and so they get mad. They're mad. Yeah. Uh-oh, we get uh, people jumping on. Uh-oh, see? I see. Uh, and make I see sure y'all do me a Ms. favor. I, I've been saying this. Follow Black Pedro. Now, if somebody else asks me how to spell that shit, I swear on everything I love. I went, when, this bo- when this bottle is empty, it will be upon your head. Trust me. Yeah, right. it's like, wait a minute. Okay, let me try this again because this is where I, I had a friend of mine I told, he says, man, I can't find his page. Oh, motherfucker. Listen, oh, one, black, black. Pedro. Pedro, P E D R. Ready? Oh. 
Now, now that was I, need it. Find, I need to find you to find a way to kick yourself in the back of the head. And that's, yeah. that's how you should And feel. my friend, my friend Ken. Yeah, uh, my friend, I got two people that hit me up. My friend Ken. Yes, Pedro is a Trini. Right? Because he's Trini. It. Yeah, all right. Yeah, he turned his daddy in. And secondly, yes, he did go to Princeton. Yeah, man, we did both of them things. Okay. Not, not because, at the same no, time. he said, because he thought that you were just talking shit and just saying that you did. And I, I was like, of all things, why would the fuck would he pick that? that that'd <laughs> like, be weird. I mean, of you all know, fucking thing. So, people, Ken, like, like Ken your you've been answered. Your, your president faked his way into uh, Penn, another Ivy League school. But wants you to believe that he went to Wharton Business, which is their business school, which is usually number one, if not always, or tied with somebody as the number one business school in the nation. Um, so people do right. lie about their educational affiliations. I appreciate you doing your background, but uh, I can go um, get my I can go get my diploma. I'll yeah, just I got hold my, it up like this. Mine's around the corner, right in the bedroom, right there. Um, yeah. So, but so, look, somebody don't have, see, look how look at Miss Adverbs spelled it. I bullshit you not. People have been spelling your name wrong. Oh, man. Look how they spelled it. I've had somebody, <laughs> see, you know, I've had a Y in my name. I've had a G in my name before. Uh, like Page Dro, like P A G D R O. I don't know what. Yeah. On that. What's up, day. Sula? Um, Sula in the building. At, Sula. This, Sula. This is why I stopped going to fast food places, too, because <laughs> they ask your name yeah. and then they can't. They can't possibly spell Pedro and I'm like but this is a Mexican restaurant <laughs> like how, how are you getting this wrong how do you not um, know how to spell Pedro so we uh, got that out the way I had to get out of the way because I knew that he said oh I'm gonna definitely jump on tonight I said cool but uh you ain't gonna ask me that shit again <laughs> don't you fucking <laughs> ask me that it's pay, it's pay, it's Peter in Spanish god damn it you got yes it. and I answered all the questions uh, yes, I answered. Oh, somebody said get hooked on phonics. That is yeah. true. I, I, I answered the questions that you asked me. I'm not going to tell y'all fuck again. Inbox Pedro. <laughs> I'll be ducking some of that shit because I'm like, some of y'all. But I, 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 some I, I, I mean, yeah, yeah. I just haven't so, been in my, my DMs that much lately, but uh, I'm, uh, I'm trying not to get sucked into this social media hole. Uh, speaking of yeah. social media holes, that's what these uh, ass jackals are. Uh, doing right now they're they're hella active uh and when i say they i mean these these proud boy type, type motherfuckers and by the way right. proud boys have taken center stage now because of their mentioning during the debate but the reality is this is just one of many groups uh the kkk is still around as a formal entity right um, white nationalist group um all other white nationalist aryan nation yeah and all and you know trump recognized it too them biker motherfuckers like Sons of Anarchy type shit. I never even saw the show, but we know what they. Oh are. yeah, they they actually they group up with the the Proud Boys to go and do and fight people, and they always this is the one thing they always jump people because they don't really go one on one. Either that's some bitch shit, or I get what they're doing, but they said that usually three or four of them will attack one person. Yeah. The other thing that I found out because I did some research on these cunts, and they are a bunch of sad sack little bitch ass cunny dudes, um, is. When he said that, they were waiting for him to actually give them a battle cry. I saw an interview with one of them online, and he said, we were waiting, we were waiting. We thought he would do it at the RNC. He didn't do it at the RNC, but he did do it at the debate, which was actually a bigger stage to give them that. And now they're printing up T-shirts, and they're actually recruiting through Facebook, through online, and then they got kicked off of Facebook. Now they're doing it through their website because they got enough um, traffic generating to look, search for them. And now even myself, I search for them. Yes, battle cry. Yes, Miss Adverb. They said yeah. battle cry. Yeah. T TK575, we see you. Saluminati, I see you. Yeah, man. Uh, you know, that, that's, that's what this is. And, and that, that's what he was doing. They, they, they've come up with merchandise that says, like, Stand by or stand down, stand by. I like, saw that. I saw you know, that. Like they, they have my head they up. have stand by T-shirts now because, like, that to them. I mean, listen, man. These these are, and I love pit bulls, but if you don't raise them right, yes, they can be very dangerous. So what I'm what I'm asking you to do, America, is raise your crackers right. Okay, like raise your crackers <laughs> much better than you're doing because right now there are these cracker ass pit bulls that 
you know, at the sight of meat, they're just like, hum, 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 hum. right. You know, like they, they are foaming <laughs> at the mouth to just eat children. They've been one. The, yeah. And, and then also, fucking, it, the, this is the other thing y'all got to be hip to in the debate. He actually said that something that's illegal. You cannot go and post up at fucking polling places. It's illegal. You have to go through the polling um, process and to even be sitting there to do it, to even get the job of doing it. So for them to be, what well, that's basically voter intimidation. I don't know what the fuck else you can call it, but voter intimidation. So what, what about the police saying that he is inciting people to do voter intimidation? I ain't seen one cop, one fucking, no AGs. Nobody said that. Two Democrats did say it. And that, why wouldn't you say, hey, man, you ain't allowed to do that shit. You ain't allowed to incite violence. You're the fucking president. So that's why I said, somebody said, well, you can't say all Caucasians. I want to say a big portion of Caucasians are back in this motherfucker to actually start bringing it to the streets. Because if not, they would say, that's illegal. You're not allowed to intimidate people at the fucking polls. And then that should be it. Because that's what it is. It's voter intimidation. So I don't give a fuck what they say. You ain't supposed to do that shit. And it's against the law. I looked it up. I looked it up. Yeah, no, no, yeah. I mean, and uh, uh, there, there have been some uh, AGs who have come out and said, like, you will be prosecuted if <laughs> you attempt to intimidate people at the polls. Um, right. Yes. Yeah. yeah. He, they, they will get arrested. So yeah. Um, I hope. Ciba three one three said he got he got some uh, some banning on Instagram for some for some speech. Man, um, I just got flagged for hate speech for calling a certain group dumb. Instagram on some bullshit. Hey man, you know that that's 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 where we are. These guys can use the internet to to form up, and then you want to call them ass jackal, nut bucket, blueberry ball, right. you know. Mint and this tapes. is the wild shit. Some people, the people that are trying to protect this fucking orange bitch shit ass. Oh wait, I'm not good at the run on. I'm gonna have. <laughs> in fact, I just told Pedro what happened. Another thing in the inbox that's hilarious. So I'm gonna let Pedro say. What these fucking dudes saw when they heard that. There, you, now, we started off with ass jackal fuck, and then he'll take it from there. <laughs> it's oh, ass wait. jackal fuck. Nugget berry, donkey biscuit, ho donkey, <laughs> whale shit, mule piss, camel humps. I mean, that's what they got. There that's you go. What, and you know what? what you are a foul mouth. Pedro, you are a foul mouth. And a, and a swindler. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm a trickster. A trickster. I'm a trickster. <laughs> so, somebody somebody call, inboxed somebody me and said... Mouth. You call, they could inbox him and call me Foulmouth and said he was a trickster. <laughs> that I was a trickster because, <laughs> because they said that Pedro said so much horrible <laughs> shit about people and then said that I acted like I, this young lady I had met I, I seem like such a nice guy, but I'm not because the way I talk. So I'm a trickster. <laughs> so, <laughs> Miss Adver, Miss Adver, we do got Tourette's over here. You know, we we get into these spells because when you when you see <laughs> when you see Dick Biscuit, you know, nut come like these motherfuckers, then it's like right. it, it brings it out in you. Um, uh, but it, it was so bad. Hold up, it was so bad. No bullshit. That the people that are in charge of the debates said, ah, oh, maybe I should do this over Zoom. You motherfuckers can't be in the same room. That was my idea, man. I'm like, so so moving on, Savage AF, but be alert, guys, because there there is a wave. That we, we see now that there is this readily active force. Whether there are 300 or 3,000 of them, we don't know. Um, there's enough to maybe hurt you. So be alert, be aware. Right. Uh, we're going to move on. Uh, the game is changing, and it changed last night. And like you said, the debate commission is like, uh, we need to do some things a little differently. Carolina boss, welcome to the room. Um, and after last night, it's like, you think? <laughs> um, that was my thought. Was like, <laughs> maybe they should do that shit virtually, and then the next uh, moderator can just uh, mute. <laughs> you know, don't give the t candidates uh, host privileges, okay? Then you, you just mute one, ask the other a question. Then you mute that one, unmute the other. One, ask him a question, because they, because you know, right? But they like, no, but they had, uh, Trump said he would never agree to that. 
Mm. They already they they offered that, and Trump said he never agreed to that because he knows he wants to disrupt he Biden as much to, as he possible. Has to be able to. Biden was off his game a couple times, but he was more on than off. He didn't fade. He didn't fall asleep. He wasn't sleepy Joe and none of that shit. But it's so funny how the people that's protecting the fucking president because they bitches too, and they need to be butt raped by a fucking silverback. Is uh, <laughs> I'm that's just a saying, gorilla, they, man. They, oh my bad, oh, my bad. Is, is it a gorilla? Um, no. That that they said. Well, you know, he didn't actually say that. They're two, and he said he didn't say it when they asked Trump on the White House lawn. Did he say that? He said he didn't say that. But then he said no violence. But I don't want violence. And then they asked him. He said, Well, okay. Either did you pay seven fifty in your taxes, or you didn't. Well, I'm very smart. I mean, that's why I, I, I did pay it. Then they asked him, so you did pay it? He said, no, I never did pay it, but I paid millions. So which is it? This is the kind of person we're fucking dealing with where you got to talk to him this way. You don't know what the fuck he's doing. He's like, um, so my main thing is right now, what the fuck are the bitch-ass Democrats going to do? It's time to go hard in the motherfucking paint. It's time to do that LeBron James push to the fucking rim hard shit. I'm, by the way, LeBron, I wasn't going to watch it. LeBron is a bad motherfucker. Just they a start, side they're, note. They're on right now, the NBA Finals game one, Miami Heat. Uh, Los Angeles Lakers are back in it. The city's going to go fucking nuts uh, if they win another championship. Not, I don't it's think gonna, they're going to win. I I don't know. I, you know, the, the, with AD and all that. But hey, let's stay focused. Maybe we'll leave that for some extra time. I know, tonight. man. But, I know, but yeah, I, I'm sorry. It just Sometimes we get side noted. Let's go to side note. All right. So, um... I don't know what I don't know what the debate committee can really do about this dude though. If you're not gonna cut his mic, because the 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 argument against cutting off the mic is that you'll still be able to hear him off mic. But people got to understand that the point in which you're all we're hearing is you <laughs> off mic. Uh, Mark, follow the Mark Prince, y'all. Very funny dude. Very very funny man. Uh, Mark Prince. When Mark Prince in the building. When people hear you off mic yelling, you sound like the dude outside the Seven Eleven. It's like. Jesus crack. I like cheese. Oh yeah. Chicken wings and things, y'all. You know what I mean? Like, you, you it's sound... like, hey man, I'm, I, it, it makes you want to give him a dollar, but Listen, get the fuck away from me. On the on the show, right? On the show, when I'm like, you whole donkey, dick fart, whale come, mule piss, ass biscuit, right? It sounds foul mouth. Well, it, well, but but it also it it sounds appropriate for for a show called Savage as Fuck, right? Uh, I'm mic'd up and all that. But imagine if I didn't, if I was just in the background off mic like this. Now, I want it for the American people. But I'm, excuse me, will you shut up? I just want this for the American yeah. people. Will you just I, shut up, you, you clown? I I, you fucking I clown? You, I don't know if you know if you can hear me at all in the background. I get, I, yeah, but, I get, completely. And this is what's crazy. The right wing is actually showing the clip. They edited the clips where Biden is calling him a clown. Biden is telling him to shut up. And if anybody on here on Savage, because I know that you're political savvy, the motherfuckers that watch the show and listen to the show, Biden did it maybe four times. Trump did it 51 times. The motherfuckers, they counted it. He interrupted. Not only did he interrupt Biden, he sparred back and forth, back and forth with the moderator, if you want to call him that, that kept saying, Mr. Trump, President Trump, come on, Trump. I'll rub your balls, Trump. Come on, I'll suck your dick if you just stop doing Mr. it. President? Come on, Trump. Mr. President? Come on, Trump. Please. I thought, I thought, Fox honestly, I'm, I'm with Mike Wallace. I thought Mike Wallace, uh, Chris Wallace, I'm sorry, did Chris Wallace, as, yeah. as, as good a job as you could do in, in that situation, to be honest. I thought he asked some tough questions. I mean, everybody's like, well, what do you do? And the commission is trying to come up with a different way of doing this shit. Uh, they haven't yet, and they're going to announce some shit. But, like, I don't know what he, I don't, you know, he, you know, I think he sided with Biden. I think he was like, yo, this dude is oh, out of a lot control. Of, yeah. Like, this dude is out of control. So, I mean. How about using the words, shut the fuck up? <laughs> he could have been. Uh, you that. Know, he was like, I'm the moderator, unless you want to trade seats with me. I mean, you know, he, he, he threw some zingers at him as, as a moderator was supposed to be neutral. So because he was disrespect, he was disrespecting everybody, Trumpy Dumpty, that is. Um, but I don't know, other than making it in which you say he, he's not going to agree to a virtual event. Um, I would no, say, he's not going to agree say, to a virtual. I would say more distance then, get a bigger stage, put them further apart. 
on the two ends of a football field. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and and then no. shut his mic off. And then shut his mic off. You know what I mean? And and then we I'm won't be able to you, hear him. They should have a, he hate he he's a racist, so he don't like black people. Well, check this out. Every time he interrupt, it should be a, a a nigga named Jerome standing there and just walk over and <laughs> right to the body. You know, hit him to the body for. <laughs> All right, and then walk, and then step back. Like, <laughs> then he goes, "Hey, I'm going to do this." <laughs> hey, I'm telling you, give him a couple because he's not going to stop. He wasn't going to stop. He was asked to stop. Fucking, yeah, stop, he, stop. of course he's not going to listen to Biden. He didn't listen to. The, he signed for these rules. It was a. They said it, that I watched a couple of things online, and I'm not exaggerating. Y'all can check what I'm saying. They took a poll and said it was the worst debate. Ever. ever, ever. Think about that when you put the word "ever" on the end. Sixty-five like Titanic. Million. Yeah. Sixty-five million people. It's the watched. Titanic of fucking um was, of yeah. debates. No, yeah, no, and the nation went down with it. Like it was, it's sixty-five million people watched, um, which is less than the first uh, Clinton Trump debate. Um, right. So yeah, you know, I I think there's uh, up to twenty million less people. Uh, so, you know, a, a lot of people tuned out. I, I think CNN said that they they saw a spike of their online streaming toward, towards the end, um, which m maybe means that people were hearing shit on social media and like, fuck it, let me go watch this shit. Um, so at least through CNN, uh, uh, more people jumped in on the, at the end, at the tail end of it, uh, rather than sitting through that pig slop. Uh, like we do here on right. Savage AF, because we, you know, we like to analyze and talk this shit and get real mad yeah. and then cuss a lot yeah. and say, you know, <laughs> and things like and be a foul mouth. Yeah, you're yeah, you're like, a foul mouth. You know what they <laughs> said when he started talking about Biden's son, which I thought was some low down, dirty shit, talking about Biden's son um having a, a cocaine addiction, and Biden did answer the question. He said, "Yes, my son did, but he fought it, he conquered it, and he came back, and I still and I'm proud of him." I love the fact that Biden did that. I thought Biden should say, "Yo." Well, he, he made some mistakes, but he, he corrected them. But I thought that was some low, dirty shit that Trump would bring that in. And if we wanted to, and Biden was right, and talk about his fucking slack jaw, low forehead, fucking crack, Crow Agman fucking face, bitch ass kids, and his creepy relationship with his daughter, how he always wants to finger banger when he's in the back of a limo. He does. God damn, man. Bro, Biden you know didn't go there. Do you know he seriously, seriously last cycle floated the idea to his campaign staff of his daughter Ivanka as vice president? I know. Like he he seriously pushed. She had to pull herself out of the pool. Like that's not a good idea, Dad. Um, but he literally that, that won't work, like, Dad. Yeah. She pretty and she's smart and she got nice titties. She should be my vice president. <laughs> Like it, it, it's it's just weird and sick, but um, you know <laughs> yeah, so, she's so pretty. People, she got big titties. I, yeah. I would I have I could imagine. You know what? Eve got really okay. Let's go there somewhere. I'm not gonna go there. Um, right. But <laughs> so so since the shit was like a game show, right? Last night it was like some clown fest reality show bullshit. I'm like, well, why don't we just go there then? Like, do any of you kids remember that old show Double Dare? I think it was called Double Dare. Uh, what was the host name? Mark something. Was it Double? I, what what show are you talking about? And and you you used to get like if you lost or whatever in a round or what you would get slime. What you had to you was, had to eat a donkey cock or something like that? No, it it was no, it was a kid show on Nickelodeon. And, oh damn, it's a kid show. <laughs> yeah. I found it. I found it. And, uh, no, you would get, it you, would get like, slimed. Uh, you would get slimed like they would drop literally green. Oh, all over OK. It looked like the Daredevil right. logo. I'm looking at it right now. Yeah. So Mark Summers. Thank you, Casey. So Y'all are with me. Right. Mark, Mark Summers. It was, and the name of it was Double Dare Rude versus Dude. The Rude Dude versus the Wiz Kids was, was the, the uh, initial show. So do the Trumpy Dumpties versus the Slow Bidens. And every time somebody interrupts, you get fucking slimed. Or you got to do a double dare or some shit. You know what I mean? Like a physical challenge or some shit. I don't know. But, but let, let's make it an actual game show. I, you know, at this point, we need to hear. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> you know, like yeah. that music sound on, on Price is Right and shit. It's like. Bum, 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 bum. 
I didn't. Um, okay, because I didn't. What? Why is it pretty on the left? Because I didn't know Double Dare. My bad. <laughs> my son didn't really. My I, I got son, but they didn't even watch that shit. I don't remember. You know what? Fuck all that. Listen. It this was is a the gap. thing it about was, it. Was, yeah. I, let's speaking of debates. I want. I mean, we're gonna definitely continue because I looked at what you were talking about on the, on the page. But I, I really do think Kamala and, and Pence is going to be entertaining. But I do honestly think it's not going to be buck wild like this one. No. I think Pence is too much of an automatron robot who actually wants to secretly dance at, at gay bars. But <laughs> I'm telling you right now, he just looks like it. Like he pulls his shirt off and he got on nipple clamps and he's like, I love Trump. And, you know, he's a because he's a dick sucker of Trump. But coming I think to the Kamala, stage, little white brick. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, yeah. Proud to be an American. American. And it's like, woo. Yeah. And, and they throw and, and they throw Bitcoin uh, <laughs> coupons. <laughs> but this is what. I think, honestly, and everybody in here, make a comment on it on Savage AF, brought to you by the World Famous Lab Factory. Make sure that you subscribe to the podcast version. Search for Savage AF Podcast on YouTube. I think Kamala is going to absolutely fucking murk him. I yeah. really do. I yeah. really think that Kamala, he don't got a fucking chance in hell. Pence yeah. don't got a chance. He's going to look, he's going to be made got, to look he, like the, the suck up cunt bread stick he is. He really he's is. Got a, a black woman cop on his on his ass, and we've always joked that black women are just naturally detective, nigga. You always are on the suspect. Yeah, we're we're watching this individual. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, you know, black women born to be detectives, always gathering <laughs> evidence. You know what I mean? Building a case, always. So, whose hair is this? Whose hair is this? Uh, Baby, that's your hair. That's that's not usually how you button your shirt. Like what? <laughs> yeah, you usually what? leave the the second button was... undone. Who who been fucking with your shirt? Uh, AJ Fit three sixty five said actor John Lithgow coming out with his second uh, Trumpy Dumpty book this week. Yeah, uh, apparently John Lithgow has come out with a uh, you know like an animated. I don't know if it's a kid style storybook uh, about Trumpy Dumpty. Uh, so you know we were on to something, man. I just got lazy and started drinking. <laughs> Should have wrote the book myself. <laughs> Fuck John Lithgow. No. I... <laughs> The fuck uh, am I doing? Uh, I, now, I wanted to see, what do you guys think? I really do think this debate was just beyond fucked up. It's called, it, it, what we call it in the service, that was a, a total clusterfuck. Um, it was a clusterfuck. It was horrible. I think that Kamala's is going to be much more, you know, systematic destruction. I just don't see Pence having the verbal man. acuity to fucking deal with this woman. I saw her on, when she was... You know, interrogating people. She was killing them, dude. She was yeah. killing motherfuckers. And no, no, Pence she, is she just, he'll be... go back. But our great pr leader is the best president ever. And I love our leader. And when he Leadership. holds me in the middle of the night. Yeah. Well, see, so, you know, it's like uh, Mike Pence is Trump's anal tampon. And then Trump is Putin's anal tampon. Putin's so they, bo so they it's both like have a... been... They live in, it's like a, yeah, human centipede of, they're connected through anuses. Um, here, like, so, I don't know, man, these, these debates. Oh, uh, Miss Ever, not, shut up. She's not that great. She is a very good at, <laughs> she hates, she hates Kamala Harris. Right, we know she hates her. She calls her cop Mala. We know, we know Miss Ever. Breathe now. That's going to be your net. It's got to be your so next you, life so, president. Let, wait, you don't want to deal with so Mike, you, Mike Pence again, so stop. So you really don't think that she's going to do a better job than Pence in the debate? You're out of your fucking mind, Miss Adverb. All right? You're out of your mind. She's going to do better. And even though Biden wasn't super strong when he needed to, I'm surprised Biden didn't just take his shoe off and throw it at the motherfucker when he says something about his son. I would have definitely been like, man, you ain't too far away to get your ass kicked. I will click and clack your ass. I will click clack over that motherfucker, beat your ass. I'm so, like, Bernie, Sa Bernie Sanders, I think, that is the one thing I really wish Bernie Sanders would have went fucking ham. You shut your mouth, you dirty lying son of a cunt. He would have just, <laughs> I swear, if we, if it wasn't distancing, I'd come over there and stomp your mouth. He would just. He doesn't have Asperger's. He is an Asperger. Okay. Asperger. Da -da. You know, my On cousin. On a shit bun. It's... On a shit bun. Yes, my son, my my cousin's Larry Sanders. You cocksucker! He just he. 
I just want let's somebody, turn, and they somebody said the show, that um, let's Biden turn it into a fucking show. Go ahead. <laughs> that would, they said that, no. They said that Biden, and they were saying, oh, he said, oh, I won the debate by far. Everybody's saying that one. He did lose the debate. He he lost the debate by sixty. It was sixty three. If you go by that shit, but everybody fucking lost. And I, I thought they weren't going to do two more debates because it was like, what else the fuck you need to see from this crazy motherfucker, this unhinged bitch nugget? Are you serious? <laughs> what else? He's going to do the same so, shit in the next debate. Speaking of bitch nuggets, man, these other the, I saw this piece on CNN right before we started our show tonight, uh, Savage AF. Uh, make sure you follow us wherever you get your podcasts as well as on YouTube, uh, Savage AF podcast on YouTube. Just look that up, guys. But um, I saw a piece about these five undecided voters. And this is one of those things. Oh, that was so bad. It was so bad. It, 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 you know, it's like if you were undecided between Obama and McCain or Obama and Romney, if you were undecided between uh, Clinton and, and um, Trump, you know what I mean? It's like, who are these people? But one of them was uh this black a black dude from a, a michigan that's on they have from different states or whatever well anytime i see a black dude from michigan i'm like nigga you from the d you ain't from the d you can't be from the d my nigga um but there there are people who are still on the fence about things and you know they were expressing how last night didn't help and they're thinking about just not voting at I all i saw that and i'm like wait a minute after what you saw last night you don't know which way to go like, they were like, it, it was sad to see the, a president call, told to shut up. Like, I didn't like that. And it's like, but he needed to fucking shut up. Like, he was obviously out of line. Like, you know, right. I, I, I enjoyed those moments where Joe broke off a, a little bit and was like, you you just, come you, on. you." This, he was like, this clown. I'm sorry. <laughs> but like, no, don't be sorry. Be like, uh, no, he's clown. sorry. This person. But, you but you know what? He leaned into it, but. Those um, those wishy washy on the fence bitch ass motherfuckers. He said I didn't like the fact. One of the guys said I didn't like the way Biden said that the COVID uh, two hundred thousand deaths were on Trump. I just didn't like that. I think you can't say it's all Trump's fault, but the numbers prove that the bulk of it is his fucking fault. So he said that's what I was. You know, I was I was leaning towards Trump, but now I'm totally going to vote for him because wow. Biden said mean things. He said mean things to my friend Trump. You, you, you bitches, 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 you bitches. I can't so, stand these old wish washy motherfuckers. It, what else do you need to see? But this lady on I don't know what her name is, blonde. When I say she had this brother on there that was blacks for Trump, and it was just arguing back and forth. And she said, hold on, hold on. No, she said, you, you're starting to sound like Trump because you're trying to talk over me. And she said, I'm going to read off the list of things that you say he's not a racist that proves he's a racist. And they went back to the 70s. And she said, they got the 2020, he said, she said, and that's just the beginning of 2020. I still <laughs> haven't read the other 20 fucking listings of the racist shit he said and done. And lost lawsuits. This motherfucker lost lawsuits in the 70s for housing discrimination. And they slam dunked him. They said that the fucking, they went in and they, they deliberated, no bullshit, 25 minutes said, nah, this motherfucker's a racist. Came back out and hit him with the fucking fine. Bam. Easy. Trump University, two days. They said, ah, this motherfucker, you got to pay that 25 million back. And he owes four hundred and twenty something million dollars, and possibly getting fined for the other shit that he gave. They was giving money, and they still don't know what they want to do, Pedro. They still can't see if that motherfucker's corrupt. Ugh! God damn it! They need to beat him with a fucking hammer in the head. Oh, that's—I right. mean, not hammer. I mean, hammer the dancer. I mean, yeah, actually, yeah. take the album, the rapper, take one of take, them albums. The no, family. I mean, actually, grab hammer. And just grab <laughs> hammer. <laughs> hammer. 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 I am. <laughs> they put me in the mix. Um, yeah, these undecided voters at this point, I'm like, guys, listen. Yes, it was it was an ugly debacle last night, but it was it was that because of one person in that room. Like even the moderator had problems with him. You know what I mean? Recognized out loud on live TV that Trumpy Dumpty was the one interrupting more you know what i mean like trump was like well you got to tell him to stop interrupting too and literally chris wallace was like 
you're doing it more. It's mostly you. You know, like that kind of it's thing. Mostly right? you. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Stop. Like, bruh. come on. It's Stop. you. Stop. It's not me. Stop. It's you. It's you. like one of those Don't make me put hands on you. You have Don't. no problem leaving. You're like, bitch, it's, it's you. Okay. <laughs> it's you. It's you. It's you. Uh, but when you were watching it, my, I'm going to keep it real. There was points where my, I felt my, my heart beating fast from anger. Uh, and I was like, damn, is something wrong with me? Where I was like, I swear to God, I want to run hands with this motherfucker. I, want, I kept saying, if I could just slap box this motherfucker one time. Just slap box the shit out of him. Just smack the yeah. shit out of him. Because, and, and, and people said, well, you know what? Trump didn't really say he wanted the Proud Boys to do anything. He just said, stand back and stand by. That is the same shit. He could not answer one question that was basically a yes or no. It could be, yes, I can denounce him. And then at the end, when they asked, would you, would you leave office? And motherfucking... Biden answered yes. If he wins and the people speak, you got it. All right, I'll support the shit. Mm -hmm. They asked Trump. Trump's like, no, I'm not. I'm doing that. I'm gonna urge my people to go stand at the polls and watch them. And like, he didn't answer the shit at all. So after all that, you still ride with this motherfucker. That means you're a racist ass, cunt ass person, right. and you deserve to be beat about the head, neck, chest, beat and shoulders <laughs> with a dead fish. Yeah, man, frozen one too. Um. Miss Averb said, and I'm, I'm going to address this. She said, if you, and this is in regards to Kamala. I know what she's talking about. She said, and if you don't see what I said, I, I didn't see what you said earlier. She said, it's ramen noodles and cat food. Stop trying to make it seem like ramen noodles is P.F. Chang's. That broad is a whole coon. Ooh. All right. So listen, here's the thing. I'm, I'm not going to say she's a coon. I'm going to say she's soul food, which is to say that sometimes you have to take ramen noodles and and cat food as you say and and right. and, and style that shit make it taste good because that's all you got right now you know what i'm saying um i had a time in my life where i was living heavy off of ramen noodles heavy and, and to celebrate if i could afford some of the little little shrimp from the grocery store i'd go get the little shrimps that look like uh <laughs> milk that look Wait like melted <laughs> so melted you what you made fish. your own shit and I would add yeah. some of that. I'd get a little thing of bok choy, throw some of that in there. Now you ain't got ramen noodles. Now you got yourself a meal, baby. You know what I'm saying? So, right. Take take and the take, awesome thing take, is take Kamala as as your your ramen noodle cat food base. Add your ingredients. Add your flavor, Miss Adverb. You know right. what I'm saying? Your your, your name, Miss Adverb. Ms. Adverb. You gotta add verb to it. Okay. Right. Add yeah. Some verb I'm, to I'm, it. I'm about to call you Miss. Ms. I'm about to call you Miss Pronoun. But you ain't, you know what I'm saying? Listen, Ms. Adverb, she's sold out. I got you. You think she's a sellout or you think she's a, a coon? But the bottom line is she is the vice president. I mean, she's the vice president she nominee. Said, nope. she, <laughs> she just said, nope. That's her answer to all nope. I just said. I just gave a whole analogy of, based on your ramen noodle cat food shit. Which, by the way, I don't think anybody has actually ever done is taking cat food and put it with ramen noodles. Listen, if you got the ramen noodles, just eat the ramen fucking noodles. Why would you add cat food to it? Yeah, hey, what is wrong with you? What kind of batshit crazy <laughs> recipe is that? Come on, Ms. Hey, 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 man. You know it adds flavor. You know it I adds flavor, you. but but, but I'm going to tell you right now. Noodles, just eat the fucking, use the little packet and shake that shit. Exactly. You ain't add just the package is where the flavor comes from. What's now wrong you with you? Actually, you added the cat food is you. That you know what I used to add? I, you know what I used to add? I used to add hot dogs. Cut up hot dogs and put it in there. Boom. That's, that's, Boom. Pep, that's, that's I didn't have enough money for <laughs> a regular meal. That's but I, I'm going to tell you right that's now. Carbonara. Okay. Don't yes, it is. That. That's, that's, that's a fancy fucking dish. But, uh, okay, she's, okay, she's phony as fuck. Absolutely. I got you. All right? But so she is ramen not. noodles. But you eat them when you have to. ain't phony. Oh my God, Miss Ever, Pence ain't phony. He ain't a fucking uh, 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 a boot licker. That the shit the fuck out of here with shrimp, that. The shrimp flavor in ramen noodles is fake as hell, but it will get your ass through that day, through that night, through right. that meal, on to the next one. And now we eat right. better than and we do now. We eat better than we do now, right? But right. yes, sometimes we have to take the pig intestine, the pig foot, the ear, the snout, and make and make the and make it a meal. But, yes, uh, we are Pedro. Getting, I, I'm gonna have scratched. to. I'm gonna break a lot of hearts tonight. The packet of beef probably ain't beef. 
Um, I'm just because I ain't never seen because basically that's cow powder. Yes, and I don't think that is. I don't think it is the the cow. shrimp flavor. I don't think so. And, and miss, I mean, can, I hear you. you. And the pack, when you powderize it, it, an animal, when you can make an animal, in that's the not dust. good. Yeah, that's not good. If you got to add water to your I'm, animal to eat it, I, I, you know. But we've all done it, right? We've been there. I've been, you know, I've been there. I've been, yeah, to, I've, I've, been, been there. I've been in I've a been place there. where I could not afford a pack of ramen. Okay, <laughs> literally went to the store, had a dime. It was fifteen cent. I was like, well, maybe tomorrow. Got to work harder, Dro. Got to work harder. Well, you know you what, know what I used to do? Gotta I used harder. to just fucking take them. <laughs> mm -hmm. I used to take them. I had a bomber jacket. <laughs> Steal them. I'm shit, serious. I, I had a bomber jacket. And you know how the bomber jacket is? And it got the pockets on the side and the pockets on the inside. I would put <laughs> two on the inside, two on the outside. And then I would just uh, start walking toward the door. And then I would say, hey, man, there's some dude back there, man. He's pissing in the aisle. And then the security go, what? The motherfucker pissing in the aisle? And he walked that way. And then I walked right out with the ramen. I'm serious. I used to do that. I used to take that and batteries. <laughs> it's the truth. <laughs> I don't know if I'm laughing harder because you did that or I'm mad I didn't think of that. Because I'd be just rushing out the store like, oh, they ain't got me. Cool. I wait for a shift change yeah. and shit. <laughs> hey, man, that's a nigga back there jacking off on the marshmallows. And you're like, what? <laughs> and then you run back there and you walk out and be like, it's ramen. It's ramen. It's peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter. I used to steal so much shit. I stole so much food. I bullshit you not. You know when you first start comedy, you know I'm telling you, when you first start comedy, your oh, income man. is just Yo, fucking doo-doo. It's, terrible. Terrible. it's terrible. What, in, what so, income? <laughs> there was a place, there was a place called Charlie's. And it's not Charlie, <laughs> it's Charlie. C-H-A-L-A, -A, like Charlie's, like that. Charlie. And they, yeah, and I would do that. And there was always some little young dudes acting wild and out. They would go in the back. So I would go in and I would gather the shit I want to gather because I knew where the mirrors were. And then I always say, man, that nigga they said back gather. Here This nigga said gather. <laughs> <laughs> gather. <laughs> what? Okay. I had to forage. Oh I was foraging. Oh <laughs> so I, I pulled this on this motherfucker, no bullshit, at least three times where he got hip to it. And then he, he was so cool with me. He said, listen, man. I don't feel like fighting you. Can you please just put the shit back? And I said, <laughs> I said, oh, that's all right, all right, man. All right, I felt man. bad. He, 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 looked, he just looked like he was beat down with life. Like, look, man, <laughs> between the people, between the people jacking off on the marshmallows and you, I'm losing all my income. Can we just please? Yeah, come on. Because you got to look at it this way. And, and this adverb who's crazy. <laughs> You just thought about it like, damn, I wish I'd have thought about that. <laughs> um, damn. Damn, there's a dude back there. Um, I'm telling you right now, the reason I said that, Miss Adverb, and even though you want to give me shit, is I really do think we got to go with who we got. So Kamala is going, is a very good choice pertaining to prosecuting, <laughs> what I say prosecuting, <laughs> Pence, not persecuting, prosecuting Pence on all the lies and bullshit he did. That's what uh, I'm saying, Miss Adverb. Our, our, our audience is so savage, so much more savage than we are. They are now sharing uh, shoplifting tips. <laughs> See, for 313, is like, used to slip, it up the, slip beers up my sleeve in the cooler back in the day. People are like, bottom of your pants. <laughs> Mulatto blacks, <laughs> tie bottom of right. <in> pants. <laughs> like, niggas got motherfucking shoplifting tips. All right, listen, the goal is to do better, guys. But like Shane said, do what you got to do. That is the now. goal. Do what you when you got to do, do what you got to do. When you, if you like, if you like, if you like Italian sausage, you put it next to your balls. <laughs> and it looks like your dick. Ain't nobody gonna search you. They gonna just think, man, that dude got a big ass dick. It's and they ain't gonna nobody gonna grab you. Like, man, you got that next to your dick. No, they ain't. They gonna let you walk out there smoothest, and then you take it home and you fucking heat it up and you got sausage. Fellas, that's what on, you do. Put on um, your, put on your gray sweatpants and a white t-shirt. Got to be a clean one. And, and and let the let the Italian sausage, let that Hickory uh, Farms, you know what I'm saying? That Hillshire Farms stick out. Yeah, it's already yeah. in plastic, so it's not next to your dick for real. Yeah, you yeah, put yeah. it in your pan, and it looks like your dick. And they go, uh, and, and then hey, you and know you what? Get fact, followers. Don't let it be a female security guard. 
you gonna pull that number? Yeah. That's beat Trump. She said, that you know night. what? I'm gonna I'm I'm let night. you. I'm gonna let you go this time. I'm gonna let you go this time. So make and, sure you shop you at this, this store number. again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I need yeah, you yeah. to shop at this store every week in those great sweatpants. I know what you got in them pants. Back. You better come back. You know, it, 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 you it's gonna be back. like that. So there, there are ways I've seen. Thank you, Shane, for your wisdom. You have led me to yes. this place. Yes, you know, I try I to, I, I, I try to drop, I try to drop jewels. Um, but I, but I wish it wasn't me dropping jewels. I really used to do that. I really used to do that well, like, because there was no other way. It's fucked up when you got ten cents and the shit's fifteen cents. So I was like, well, oh, I'm shit. gonna eat. Fuck that. It's either you know eat it. or everybody dies. So um, well, I just think that what I was saying that before, if you look at the way that they're going to change the debates, they won't have to do that for Kamala and Pence. But fuck if I'm, I'm telling you right now, fuck if they ain't going to have to change it completely or a mute button or put him in a soundproof booth or something. They're going to have to do something because Trump is not going <laughs> to listen to none of that. No, they're not going to do that. Hey, um, so no. I forgot. We on my feed tonight, which means we're going to get cut off like runaway slaves. Um, <laughs> in, in like in like in like four or five minutes, um, and, and we did have one more topic to talk tonight. Which oh shit, I know we didn't even speaking yeah. of, speaking of everybody dying. Uh, you know there there's some serious fallout from the recession involved with the the, the pandemic. And uh, I'm, do you have a little extra time tonight, Doug? Yeah. All right. So. We'll bullshit through the rest of this hour, and then and then we'll restart. Then you want me to this. jump on then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'll, I'll I'll post this one while you jump on, and y'all gather back, and we're gonna do. Some oh, that's what time. you mean. Like, yeah, okay, okay. We're gonna do it after sense. dark. We're gonna do it after dark tonight. We're gonna do an after dark. But I, I honestly, uh, uh go, talk, tell them about that. I don't know if we should start it now. This is what we should do. We'll finish off with the debate, and then when we start on the new one, we can talk about the COVID recession. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. Absolutely, we'll absolutely, absolutely, man. You know, but, uh, and because it's going to tie, the COVID recession ties into the debate because if you look at, honestly, um, Biden was the only one that was coherent when he was talking about not only COVID, but talking about how it affected the economy. And Trump just went back to how he was being persecuted by the left, the, the, the radical left. And the motherfucker was just out of his mind. And I was, I mean, I'm telling you, I had touched base and the E wants to just fucking stab him. And you can't just do that, Steve. Eve, Eve. You can't just no. No, stab no. the president. You know, what you do is you get these little Chinese throwing stars and you stand from yeah. a, a real far away and work on your throw it's a, and it's then a they long don't see it. Stabbing. It's a long distance stabbing. Right. It it's works. more, it's a stabbing, but it's not up close and personal. Like I said, golden um, eye, knives only. Knives only. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sound you don't want to hear. <laughs> I thought that was, the, no, that was, yeah, that was going to. I was thinking of, of Enter the Dragon, which nobody knows. No, I'm my uh, bad. No, you know, know, but bro, nobody they used knows to call me, Enter they used the to, Dragon. Oh, Enter the Dragon. I was thinking about Last Dragon. I was like, they used to call me Bruce Leroy in uh, sixth grade. I used to look, before I looked like uh, Marlon Wayans with his haircut, they, uh, I used to look like Ty Mack uh, from uh, the, the Last Dragon. From the Ty Mack from uh, Kiss my You Conference. Are Show the enough. Last Dragon. Show Is that enough. the one? Show okay. Enough. No, I'm talking about Enter the Dragon with Bruce Lee. It's like a finger pointing to the moon. Take your eye off the finger. It's all oh, the heavenly glory. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's, but you'd have to see. That's a good Bruce. Y'all don't know Bruce. Enter the Dragon. That was Bruce. Know. If Bruce Lee, by the way, by the way, this, he does, wow, people said Marlon Wayans is so handsome. Well, no, go ahead, Elena. Yeah, thank you. If, if, I, if I can gather. Yeah, something. that's cool. Thank you. Appreciate you. Um, no, that's right, cool. So but no, what got, I was saying got, is, we got a minute on this feed. We got one minute on this feed. We go restart that's it? and do an after dark, bro. I'm not on your status. I'm not on your level yet, Shane. Shane gets the amount of interactions, mostly because of you ladies out there, you fine, sexy foxes out there. Oh wow! Did you <laughs> just all do the money the tails? Shake, the I've been shake. through the forest. You know what I'm saying? Right towards the uh, Shire Shang. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's <laughs> so so what he's gonna do what we're gonna do is he's gonna post that up. I'm gonna wait a little bit, then he's gonna well, I'm gonna jump on, you, then you, you guys jump back up. on, I'll tell your friends, friends, friends. So it's kind of a, a savage late night, a little savage late night thing brought to you by if you go to my page, brought to you by the Jesus Moose. I don't know if in you've the seen dark. the Jesus Moose in the dark. So we're gonna jump this, right back on Savage AF, brought to you by the world famous Laugh Factory and powered by Dash Radio. This is Damn, this is Black my Belt Jones. <laughs> Velvet. Right, Somebody um, said Black Belt Jones. We out.